Hello my gorgeous loves out there and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to get into these two new recently released palettes. I have the Adept Cosmetics Cyborg Choir Palette and the Glaminatrix Pretty and Pastels Palette. So I'm going to do some swatches, create some looks, and give you all of my thoughts on these beauties right here. But before we get into this video, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie and I am just a crazy lover of all things beauty and I like to post a lot of fun and colorful makeup content. I like to do a lot on indie makeup, so if that is what you're into, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family but with that being said let's get into this video hello my spring loves i'm so excited that it is getting warmer there's flowers everywhere here in texas and it's actually easter when i'm filming this so happy easter to all of you that do celebrate i went and had brunch i put on my little floral dress now it's a little gloomy but the weather is warm so i will take it but i think these two palettes are going to be perfect for spring the color stories are so stunning now i wasn't able to do a separate video on each because i just don't have the time that's why i'm putting them together so hopefully you guys don't mind that but usually when I'm like short on time, I'll just put a bunch of palettes in one video together. So we'll start off with the Adept Cosmetics Cyborg Choir Palette. This goes for $79. Now it's currently sold out on their website. It doesn't mention anything about being limited edition. So hopefully they will restock this soon. But here's the packaging on this. I love the different changes of colors throughout the packaging. It's so pretty. I just think that's stunning. They have very nice like elevated packaging. And then inside... There is a mirror, and then here are the shades. Look at this. Isn't this so fun and springy? But they include a deepening shades. They have this fun, bright yellow matte, this beautiful purple. And then these two rows right here are shimmers, like metallics. And I think some of them have like holographic shimmers in them, so I'm so excited for that. I'm sure they're gonna be so pretty. Adept Cosmetics definitely likes to go heavy on the shimmers, a little lighter on the mattes, which is fine with me because I am all about the shimmers and then we have the glaminatrix cosmetics pretty and pastel palette now this one is 44 dollars. it's currently still in stock on their website but it does say low stock hopefully once it sells out they will restock it pretty quickly because it is a pastel palette which is what spring is all about so here's the packaging on this one simple cardboard packaging but it kind of has like a kind of color shifting effect to it here's the back of it and then inside there is a big mirror, and then here are the shades. There's 20 shades in this one. I'm trying to be very delicate with this palette because this shade right here came cracked. I had to repress it in, but I love that there's a row of deep mattes. Then we have two rows of pastel mattes and then two metallic rows that look like they're gonna be maybe shifty dual chrome shades. But this is a really, really pretty pastel palette. I love it. Now this is very, very similar, I think, to the Blend Bunny Sickly Sweet palette, which is currently my favorite pastel palette in my collection. So I just wanted to compare them so you can see the differences. Now this one also goes for $44, and this one has 30 shades. So you have 10 more options in here. But it's the same kind of concept of mixing pastels with some deeper shades. So let's just see how they compare. Oh yeah, there's a lot of similarities to these two. Now, if you want something that will give you more options, and if you're in the US, this is more easily accessible because this one is based in Australia, Glaminatrix, so it takes some time to get this in the mail. You know, you have to probably pay higher shipping. That was the two palettes, the swatches, the info. I will include timestamps as well if you're just wanting to see one of the specific palettes, or maybe you're here for both. Either way, there'll be timestamps so you can skip around throughout the video. But now let's get into the looks. Okay guys, we are going to get into the look with the pastel palette. So I did prime my eyes with the Juvia's Place eye primer in shade one. It's a really light shade, which I like to use whenever I am using pastel shades, and I did not set it. So I'm going to start off with this tranquil shade. I'm going to use the dark mattes because I like a lot of depth to my looks. I'm not going to use a crazy amount because I really want to have the, the pastels be the star of the show. But we're going to use a little bit of it. I am creasing a little bit. But I'm just going to tap that here, the outer corner. I just love that they decided to include deeper mattes. And I just tend to like to use the darkest matte first. It's just my preference. 
And I'm going to now go into the shade called Fanciful, which is this purple right here. I wouldn't say that's really a pastel. It's to me a little bit darker than a pastel, almost somewhat of a mid-tone, but I'm going to use that over the edge of that very dark matte. I'm gonna get it to look a little bit more purple. I am going to kind of wing it out here as well. Yeah, you see, it's definitely not a pastel. And I'm gonna use these blues like in the inner portion. They're slightly different, slightly different in tone. But I'm gonna start off with infatuation and I'm just gonna stamp it here. Look at that pigmentation on that. It's stunning. Wow. And I'm gonna keep it more like towards the middle. Now I'm going to take Divine. This might be slightly lighter. Yeah, it's slightly lighter and I'm gonna use that in the inner portion. They're very similar though. You can see a slight difference, but it's nothing major. I wish these two blues were a little bit more different. Maybe if this was a lot lighter and like a really true pastel light blue, I would have loved that. Now for the lower lash line, I want to use a different color. So I'm going to get a teeny little brush, maybe this one right here. This is from It's Bell. And I'm gonna go into the shade called Labyrinth. And I'm gonna stamp that on the bottom. I did put some of the primer on the lower lash line just so I could have a nice base for these shades to stick to. But I am going to take the more limey shade called Entrance. And I'm gonna use it towards the front. I do feel like this might also be a little bit lighter. You see how different they are? Like this has a lot more warmth to it, like a yellow tone to it. And then that one's a lot more cool tone. I am going to take some of the yellow. I'm gonna use that and I'm gonna really stamp it on in the inner portion. It's like a brightening shade. That one is definitely a true pastel visionary. I'm gonna see how that works, being packed on the inner portion. See if we can brighten things up. I feel like it is. And a really good job of brightening this inner portion. It's a little bit more sheer than the other mattes that I've used so far, but it's still packing a punch. But now we're gonna get into the shimmers, because I, I have to use these shimmers. I love the metallic formula from Glaminatrix. So I'm going to find a flat shader brush that I can get these shadows on with. Maybe I'll take this one right here. And we're just gonna like match things up basically. So we'll start off with the ambient shade, which is a lavender. Ignore the loud car noise if you can hear it in the background. Um, yeah. Oh, with some loud car driving through my neighborhood. I'm gonna spray it and I'm just gonna put it on where I put the purple. Oh, that's really beautiful and sparkly and stunning. Like, look at that. And it picks up so well on a brush and it's spreading on really nicely. So now let's get into a daydream, which is this blue metallic. I can tell these all have some kind of shift going on with them. I'm going to spray this as well. I'm just gonna put it in the middle. Oh yeah, look at that, so pretty. And then I'm gonna take the even lighter blue metallic called Ethereal, and I'm gonna use that in the inner portion. I'm not gonna add water to this one. So it's picking up really well on the brush, and I'm just gonna spread it right there. Ooh, that's a beautiful lighter blue metallic. And as a final touch, I'm going to take the magical shade, the light yellowy metallic, and I'm just gonna stick it over the matte yellow that I use. I'm gonna spray this one though. And I'm just gonna stick it right there, bring it up. Oh yeah, a little bit up into the crease. Part of me does wanna take a little bit of soulful this green 
metallic just a little bit on the lower part I just have to okay I can't say no to a light green metallic just like a little bit down there oh yeah right there I'm not gonna take it too far in I just want to have a little green sparkle action on the bottom and there we go what do you guys think of this Oh, it's so pretty. I love this. So I'm going to go do liner, lashes, mascara, figure out something for the lips, and I will be right back to show you guys the completed look. All right, loves, I am back, and here is the completed look. I did not do that much off camera. I'm just really loving the shadows on their own, so I didn't want to add any extra details because... I think it's so pretty like the color combo of the purple with the blue and the yellow on the front and the green on the bottom and then with my falsies i'm just really feeling this springy colorful lighter look but it has a little bit of depth on the outer corner that's why i love that they included some darker mattes to add contrast to the pastels but i didn't use a lot because i don't want it to be overly smoky on the outer edge but what I did off camera was I did go in with the Wonder Beauty Mile High Club Mascara. Then I went in with the Chocolate Candy Bar Lashes from Glam Light. Stuck them on with the Kiss Lash Glue Liner. Did a little wing with the liner as well. And for the waterline, I wanted to use a limey green shade just for brightness and then to go with the green on the bottom. So I used the Sephora Liner and Matte Lime Green. I have been using this one a lot lately. And then for my lips, I just wanted something glossy and nude. So I went in with the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in Lily. Just a beautiful, shiny shade. And usually when I have lighter, pastel-y kind of looks, I like to have more of a juicy lip to go with it. Just gives more of a spring vibe, in my opinion. But that's everything for the look, like what I did. And I've just been loving these falsies lately. I think I'm getting better at putting falsies on. And they just make such a difference to a look. They add drama. I just, I've just been loving it, okay? I used to never be a falsies girl, but I guess I am it now. But that's all I did to put this look together. I was able to use about 12 of the shades out of the 20, which I think is pretty good for one look. I just wish I had more time to do a second look, but... I just don't have enough time in the day. So that was everything for this look with the Pretty in Pastel palette from Glaminatrix. We are now going to get into the Adept palette. I did prime my eyes with the Juvia's Place Primer, shade one. I am going to start off with Synthetic Soundwave, this maroon shade. And I'm gonna use that on the outer corner. Tap up some of my Oh my gosh, I just got some of my forehead. Huh. That sounds about right for me. Anyways, I'm going to tap that on the outer corner. And it's going to just stay mainly on the outer corner. It is on the deeper side, so it's giving depth, which I love. Next shade that I want to get into is Robotic Fusion. I do think I want to take a different brush. The first brush I was using was the It's Bell E6 brush. And now I'm going to take this rougher 13 brush. I'm gonna clean it up a little. It does have a little bit of staining on it, but I'm gonna go into the Robotic Fusion, the purple, and just like the X's, and I'm gonna start it here in the middle just to see how it shows up. And I might take some of this shade on the edge of the like maroon shade that I used on the outer corner. But I'm just using that more as like a center shade. So I can have three different colors on the eyes. I know I want to take a little bit more depth on the outer corner. So I'm gonna clean this brush off and go into Boring Circuit. It's a black. It's a black mat, and I'm going to just lay that right on the outer corner. Ooh, yes, look at that, it's getting nice and dark. I'm going to work on the inner portion in a bit, but I want to take the blue mat, this one called 77, on the bottom here and just stamp it on. I'm not going to take it too far in because I don't want to look like I have a, a bruised under eye because, you know, blue mats down there can. But 
and I'm just keeping it close to the waterline and we'll add a little bit of boring circuit too down here in the outer corner just to match up the depth with the top part. Let's stamp some stuff on the inner portion. I have to use seven. I have to use that. I, I'm gonna see if it will look good in the inner corner as well. I'm gonna tap off the excess and then I'm gonna stamp it in the front here. I'm using a It's Bell E10 brush. And this is a like yellow pastel, like on the brighter end. I wanna see how pigmented it is, how much will show up. And I think it's, it's doing a pretty good job. You just have to build this one up a bit. So just a little bit more on the sheer side. So now we will get into the shimmers. Definitely need to go into Robo Rose, this one right there. I love that. I'm just gonna clean this flat shader brush off. I really need to clean my brushes. And I'm just gonna pick it up. Let's see. Oh, these look like very creamy. Very creamy. And looks like it's gonna be intense. I did wanna spray my brush, put a little bit of water on there just to help it glide on, put it right here. Oh, wow. Wow, that's bright. And it's actually spreading on really nicely. It definitely feels almost like, like a cream shadow, like how it's spreading. The next shade I wanna go into is the Voltage Violet, this purple lavender. It also looks like it has the same kind of consistency as this pink metallic. I'm also gonna spray it. These are going on really nicely, by the way. They're really pretty. They're super sparkly and very creamy. This one looks like it has like pink sparkles in it. And obviously I need to go into Cyber Symphony, this amazing pastel kind of looking yellow metallic. Uh, also the same kind of formula as all the other ones. And I'm gonna spray that and we're just gonna pop that right here. Oh wow. That is such a beautiful yellow metallic. Wow, that is so pretty. I'm really liking the metallics in here, like a lot. But let's put a little bit of a shimmer on the lower part. And I'm most intrigued by this cybernetic spark. That's a beautiful blue, like a tealy, more, more like an aqua blue. Oh, that's pretty. And I'm gonna spray that. And that's gonna help add some brightness in this inner portion. Wow, not some, a lot of brightness. And there is the look, wow. The intensity of these metallics are insane, but I do want to now go put on some lashes, do liner, figure out something for my waterline, for the lips, and then I will be right back to show you guys the completed look. All right, loves, I am back, and here is the completed look with the Adept palette. This bright yellow inner portion is just so beautiful and intense and I love the contrast against like the shades on the outer edge here. It's just such a beautiful little colorful combo but a little bit smoky and I don't know what it is about the yellows because both looks I have to be really intense with the yellow for some reason but that is just what I'm uh, into right now. But what I did off camera to complete this look is I went in with a bold lippy. I was just feeling something a little bit more dramatic on the lip. So I went in with the About Face Matte Painted Lip Color in Saint Sangria. And I used the About Face Lip Liner in Lockdown. Perfect little lippy combo right here. And then for my waterline, I have the LA Girl Fresh liner on just to kind of match with the color that's in this inner portion here. And then I also used the Mile High Club Mascara and went over the lashes with the Chocolate Candy Bar Lashes from Glamlight and used the Lash Glue Liner to put them on. I'm just 
really into these lashes right now. I can't get enough of them. And I'm just loving the drama. I'm loving the look. And I think, I think this palette did pretty dang good. And I'm loving these colors. And I can't wait to try some of these other shimmers within the palette because they're so sparkly and stunning. But I am now ready to give you my thoughts on the Glaminatrix palette and the Adept palette. So let's just jump into it. So I think these palettes are both really pretty. They're gonna be perfect for the springtime. I can't wait to create some more looks with both of them. I wish I had time in this video, but I'm on a time crunch like usual. But I'm gonna start off with the Glaminatrix Pretty in Pastel palette. It is really pretty. It's a fun little springy color story. I really, really love the metallics in here. They're super sparkly and shifty and just these beautiful, soft colors. I just love them. And then you have some slightly deeper metallics in here. I love that this palette includes deep mattes if you wanna go deeper and not go totally light with your look. But I do feel like within these lighter shades, there's only two true pastels, which is this pink one and this yellow one. I feel like all of the other shades are a little too dark or like on the deeper end to be considered pastels. Now, if you have a deeper skin tone, maybe they will translate more pastel on you. But on me, I felt like they didn't really have that pastel punch that I wanted from them. Also feel like these were not as pigmented of mattes as I'm used to from Glaminatrix. I felt like I had to kind of build them up a little bit more. I was able to build them up, but I feel like there are other pastels within my collection in lighter shades that are more pigmented, like the one from Blend Bunny, the Sickly Sweet palette. I do prefer this one over this one. They're the same price, but you get more shades. And the pastels in here are super pigmented and they're really light and bright and true pastel. So if I was gonna pick between the two, I would go for this one. But I do like this a lot and I love the shimmers. I definitely prefer Glaminatrix shimmers over Blend Bunny, even though I, I think their metallics are gorgeous. I just love how shifty and like dual chromey and sparkly their metallic formula is, but I still think it's really pretty. As for the Adept palette, it is gorgeous. I think another favorite of mine. I love this color story. It's very springy, but you got depth in here. I am loving this yellow. I'm loving this yellow. I'm just feeling the yellows lately. And I feel like there's something special about the metallics in here. They're extra sparkly. They're different from their other palettes. I do feel like they're creamy, but not overly creamy where they feel like a putty. They go on really nicely on the lids and uh, you can easily pick them up with a brush and just spread them on. Now I do feel like if you layer these up a little too much, it could get, you know, a little textured on the lids. And I also got a lot of shimmer fallout from these shades, like a lot. Like as I tried to dust them away, they just stuck to the cheek. So if you don't want to have shimmers all over your face, you definitely want to use the palette first before you use your face makeup. I'm just gonna let you know, like the sparkle fallout is pretty intense on these shades, but it's because they're just so sparkly and shifty and intense. And I do feel like they're giving hollow chrome vibes and I love them. They're really pretty. And I think the mattes were nice. They're definitely more on the buildable end. They're not like super pigmented mattes, but they're workable. You can build them up, you can share them out. And I think the selection of mattes go really well with the metallics that they put in here. So I think overall the color story makes sense. So that was my thoughts on both of these palettes. I think you can't go wrong with either one. They're gonna be perfect for the spring season. But that was everything for this video, the looks that I was able to come up with, my thoughts, the swatches, all the goodness. But you guys would now have to let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Did you pick up either of these palettes? What are you thinking of the color story, the looks? I would just love to hear from all of y'all. And if you're new here and you enjoy this video, you like a lot of fun, colorful makeup content, you like a lot on indie makeup and all that good stuff, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. I would love to have you here. Also, don't forget to check out the description below. I will have the palettes linked. I'll have my makeup linked, like what's on my face and all of that. I will have other adept and Glaminatrix videos linked, like my playlist if you want to see more from both of the brands. And I will have my contact and my social media platforms. I'm also on Instagram as Brie C. Life.
lifestyle and breezy underscore beauty so if you want to join my instagram fam i would really really love that but guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video for being here supporting me i just hope all of you are doing well and i'm just sending you guys so much light and love but until next time bye guys mm -hmm.